Hello, dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor. I am clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are continuing topic of antihypertensive drugs against high blood pressure and its calcium channel blockers. I want to remind you that these drugs are nifedipine, amlodipine, nimodipine, also diltiazem and verapamil. So if you are taking any drugs against blood pressure, please see the, uh, the drug instruction and see what is the active substance. If there is something of this, then this video may be very useful for you. Let's get started. So what do the calcium channel blockers do? They will relax smooth muscles of arterioles, decreasing the vascular tone and decreasing their blood pressure. Here we're mostly talking about nifedipine, amlodipine, nimodipine, uh, because they mostly affect blood vessels. Uh, Diltiazem, it affects both blood vessels and heart, and verapamil mostly affects heart. They are also used to treat angina pectoris or uh, ischemic heart disease when the heart is not getting enough blood and oxygen and starts to be painful and uh, this can ultimately lead to myocardial infarction. And also may lead uh, and also may be used for uh, some arrhythmias with high pulse rate because they can uh, decrease their uh, conduction of of uh, electricity in the heart. They affect AV node. AV node is the node that is between between atria and ventriculi that normally slows down the signal. So the atria and ventricular they will um, contract one by one and the heart will work effectively. And here I want to tell you about one of the uh, problems with these drugs. If the person has uh, slow AV conduction, they may um, decrease it even more and cause some problems, even cardiac arrest. That's why I always do EKG before using these drugs. The drugs that uh, decrease the vascular tone, I'm talking about this nifedipine, amlodipine, imodipine. They can cause headaches, hot flashes, ankle edema, and they can cause reflex tachycardia and gingival hyperplasia when the gingiver become grow start growing and they can um, cover the teeth and here you see tachycardia what is tachycardia this is the heart uh, pulse uh, this is the high uh, pulse rate you'll tell me hmm, stop doctor you just tell told me that uh, we can use these drugs against high pulse rate yes but I'm talking about the drugs that affect uh, their blood vessels, these depins. Because when you decrease the vascular tone, it will drop your blood pressure. And our body wants maybe this blood pressure to be high. And what will it do? Because this mechanism of uh, increasing the vascular tone is not working anymore, we blocked it. It will increase the stimulation of heart. It will make it contract more powerfully and more often. That's why... Uh, with these drugs, we may get some increased pulse rate. And we can't see this uh, side effect in other drugs that affect also heart, like verapamil or diltiazem. Diltiazem is generally well tolerated. It affects both heart and blood vessels. And it can cause, of course, hypertension because it's antihypertensive. It can cause some dizziness. And we already talked about uh, decreased uh, conduction of signal in the heart. Uh, Verapamil may cause some constipation. Uh, it has a very strong effect on heart, may cause uh, heart failure deterioration if the heart was uh, working not well and we also give this drug. And it's dangerous together with beta blockers and again it causes sim similar uh, side effects as diltiazem. Dear friends, I hope it was useful for you and uh, I wish you good health. Bye-bye.